Hello everyone and welcome back to this next JS and Strapi tutorial series. In the previous couple of videos, we managed to uh, implement all the filters that are on this sidebar um, one by one. And now we put our attention on implementing the search bar. Okay, so if I go back again uh, in uh, the search jobs uh, function here, which is uh, the, 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 the function, the API, the search jobs API endpoint, which is the endpoint calling the search jobs function. Okay, we see that um, when we pass the two states of our two forms to uh, the next year's API, well, we sanitize the, 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 and, and combine the two. Okay, and we finally pass that as a query argument to the search jobs function. Okay, now the search bar text, the search bar uh, text is provided to the um, search jobs function as the attribute search bar text. Well, our job is to be able to, given the search text, filter within all the uh, the fields, okay, of a job and a company, okay, and return the jobs that match that particular search text, either regardless if it's lowercase, uh, uppercase, uh, and, and so on, right, regardless of the case, and um, also regardless of the... Um, of the uh, um, um, the the UI, basically, if it's if it's rich text, it shouldn't matter. It should be able to search within the within the rich text field as well. And um, one thing in the in the previous three videos, when we looked at inclusion search, we saw that one of the pros of as as of uh, May of twenty twenty two, the pros of Sharpie over Contentful, is that. Strapi allows us very simply to um, deal with inclusion search, when whereas it was not the case in Contentful. And again, just to show you that, I'm going to open the Contentful code here, uh, the way it was dealt with in Contentful, because Contentful does not allow us to um, do inclusion search. We had to rely on a trick, uh, and they themselves they say that right. So if I copy this link, and I go there, we open this. So you can see, open this link. Okay, you see that Strapi themselves they don't uh, they don't um, allow you to do uh, inclusion search. I highly recommend you read this. But basically, um, it was a hack that we had to do um, to deal with that. Basically, we need to do the query first uh, like this. Okay, and then filter afterwards based on the potential values that were provided in experience level and the uh, job type when this is this is this is this is the one of the pros of content of uh, strapi over contentful but now see how very neat and clean contentful is able to do a full text search basically the ability to just pass down a text value and let contentful under the cover to find all the fields um, that have that text uh, that provided text. To, to the best of my knowledge, we don't have such a clean API in uh, Strapi um, as of uh, April, uh, May of 2022. So let's see how we can implement that nonetheless um, uh, with the, the tools that uh, Strapi provides to us. So the first thing we're going to need to do uh, is to rely on the OR operator. Like I said, we need to um, be able to filter based on the, 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 the you need to find this the provided search text in all the fields so the title the about you the job type uh, it doesn't it shouldn't matter and it should also be able to search within nested attributes okay so the name of the company the slog the city and so on so that all operator will allow us to do that we're going to stack multiple uh, search uh, together and also the contains uh, and the contains case insensitive basically uh when like we, we, we pass down the value we pass down the field like this and we, we 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 say okay if this value is contained in this field then yes we, we have a match and we want to do that in a non-case sensitive in a, a non-case sensitive way okay so that these are the two things you're going to rely on to kind of mimic the full text search uh functionality so without further ado let's implement that we're going to jump to the code, we're going to close the contentful version again. Um, and we want to do, add that here. So let's add another sub query here. Add 
full text search, although it's not really a full text search. Uh, let me say if query query dot search bar text. Okay, then we want to do some cool stuff. Const we have some search fields. Uh, what are the fields in which we want to do the search? Uh, we want to search in the title, obviously, right? We want to search also um, in the job category. Category. I'm not going to bore you typing all the rest. We're just going to copy paste what I have here. Okay. And what do we want to do with that? Well, very simple. We want to construct the all query that I was talking about earlier. So let's do that now. Very good. Uh, put that here like this and then okay so we look over all of them uh, one by one okay we look over uh, all the search fields and we want to do something we want to construct the final query so search uh, field equals to empty array now if um, actually let's this just the reason why i'm doing this actually you know what let me just copy paste the whole thing um i'm gonna explain one by one what is going on i don't want to make this video too long uh, otherwise it's going to be too long so let me copy this here okay and explain what's going on here in this code basically uh to add a full text search this is the, the piece of code that we need okay so we have a bunch of search fields we want to search in the title in the job category the job type job description about you and job responsibilities and remuneration and these four are rich text fields these other ones are uh, me um uh text fields okay and now the interesting bit is that these these remaining ones are nested ones right so we want to search also if the, the user types let's say london we want to search return the jobs that are uh, in london right for companies that are in london uh, the city is attached to the company not necessarily the job itself okay and likewise if the user types the company name we want to be able to return the job uh that are related to that company if it uses the types of skills uh uh tags we want to be able to return all the jobs that are related to that uh, uh that have that particular skill tag okay and now what we do here is the interesting bit as well so basically we look over all the search fields okay we map and we get the uh, the field and we handle differently if it's a nested value or not. We handle that differently if it's a nested value. Bingo! We have uh, we can do a simple uh, contains in uh, in case insensitive, and we just pass down the uh, search bar text. Okay, in the case where it's a nested value, well, we want to split first by the dot. Okay, we want to split first by dot. Okay, and we have to nest build uh, multiple level of nesting okay so we nest first level like this level two at this stage is going to be uh, um, name all right and then search field is going to be level one which we which we constructed here initially and then we pass down the nested field which is going to be for example something like uh, uh, contains um, then the search text wrap within another wrapper which will contain uh, the name here like this and um, the whole thing wrapped again and then pa finally passed down to this I know it's a bit convoluted I'm gonna let you read this it's, uh, it looks complicated but it's very simple and that allows us to mimic the full text uh, functionality in Strapi, in Strapi so now let's test, let's test this function and I think the best way to test this is simply by um, passing as attribute the city of a job okay i think it's the best test uh, we just pass down the value uh, it could be london and we're going to find the jobs that are related to that are to a company based in london okay and again i think we're going to get four exactly and if i say san francisco or let's say just francisco I think 
the other company uh, is located in San Francisco. If I collapse this, you see only two, right? So now if I say Tailwind, this is now a skill tag and also the job title, right? We're going to see all the jobs that are related to Tailwind, three jobs. If I say TensorFlow, TensorFlow, this, all right? Fantastic, we have two jobs that are related to TensorFlow. You can see here TensorFlow in the title, all right? Uh, like this. If I say machine learning, I think there's only one job that has this, or two jobs that have this, right, in the job category, right? If I refresh here, you see, we get those two jobs. I think four jobs. Uh, yeah, I think somewhere in the, in the description of these jobs, we have the word machine learning, you see? All of them have the word machine learning. So if I type NLP expert, NLP expert, like this, very good, I refresh, you can see we're gonna get only the jobs that are relevant for that. And uh, in this case, I think only one, exactly. So an LAP expert, only one job fits the description, right? So that's how we uh, implement um, full text search. We kind of hack, it, hack that, um, um, but it works great. It works fantastic, right? So um, that's it for this video, folks. Uh, in the next video, let me see, in the next video, what we're going to look at is um, how to fit the tags, okay? Remember, when we initialize the app on first loading like this, we not only fetch the jobs, we load the jobs, but we also load something else. We load all the tags that are relevant uh, to make them ready here so that the user can use them to filter uh, to his life, to his heart's uh, desires, okay? So... The next video is uh, all about how to do this, how to fetch the, ta the tags. And I think it should be very simple. You, you should be able to do that yourself. So thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video.